Hey guys, Matt Gamer here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to install Rubik's Hat Client 1.7.2 on the Mac. And yeah, let's go. So what you want to do is you want to open up your browser. I just opened up my Safari. And this will be in the description so don't follow what I'm doing right now. But I'm just going on wizardhacks.com to get it. So then here's Rubik's. I want to just click on the Rubik's. And then this is the page I the link will be on. So what you want to do from here is you want to just hit that download button. It'll give you a new tab, hopefully, and it'll give you an uh, ad flag. It'll give you a series of downloads, so if you keep having the download, don't freak out. You're not getting spammed with the download. It just goes through a long series, I guess. So then it'll bring you to this, Connor for the win, Java developer. You want to download it there, the, down there, then down here, download again. It'll bring you to another ad flag once you've done that. And then I think this is the correct one where, it, uh, where you can... Um, just to install it from here on out. Yeah, now it gives you a media fire. And now it'll download up there. And that always opens up up there. So it's a pretty quick download, surprisingly. And then so you just want to drag it out of your downloads. You don't have to drag it out of here. Just go into your downloads get it. So now you can close out of here. You don't need the browser anymore. Once you have Rubik's here, just unzip it. And it'll give you a Rubik's 1.7.2. Once you do that, double click on it. And you want to take this... Once you double click on it, there will be a whole other Rubik's in there. So you want to drag that out. But before you drag that out, you want to... Oh, wait, no, actually, you can't drag this out. Sometimes when you drag it out, they have the same name, so you'll have to change the name, but just never mind. I didn't even need to say that. So then there's a readme file. Just um, You can look at that if you want to know anything about this. I mean, it's pretty basic how to install everything because I'm teaching you. So just uh, throw out the .zip and this Rubik's that only has the dot readme file if it, it has if it has more than a dot readme file you want to take it out like i just took this rubik's out of there get rid of the folder that has the dot readme file in it and the dot zip now double click the rubik's and inside should be a dot jar and dot json if there's a readme file in here like i said get rid of the readme file and get rid of the other folder because there should be two folders that you're getting get this one separately can't stress that enough because people tell me that's where they make the most mistakes. Now, once you have this, you want to do the simple command. Command shift G. That's in all my commentaries. That will be in the description too. Now just hit go and you want to go to application support, Minecraft. Then that from here you want to go down to the versions. And I have some other hack clients in here. One of them is Hazuni. You want to just drag Rubix in here like that. Then you can just exit out. And now you can open up Minecraft. And once that's good, once Minecraft is up like this, you want to hit Edit Profile. And you want to, there should be a Use Latest Version right here on the Use Version. And you want to scroll down to Release Rubik's right here. And you want to save the profile and hit Play. Then once you do that, you got the new Rubik's. Here's Rubik's. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And please like for more videos like this. I, I like doing hack client videos, not because I like to hack clients. I just do them because I know you guys, most the majority of you want to know how the hell to hack. So, But I'm not, I just show you how to install them. Then I pretty much uninstall them or just leave them and mess around for a while. But I never screw up servers just to get that clear with you guys. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if this helped you out. If it didn't help you out, leave a comment below saying what I missed. And I will do a follow-up video trying to help you guys out on uh, what I missed most likely. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.